Hi, in today's video, we are going to be talking about how you can pursue advanced mathematics. So if you are trying to learn math, and not just very basic math, but harder mathematics, what are the steps that you can take in order to do that? I'm going to start this video by reading a very brief email that I received from a subscriber here on the channel. This email is basically the reason I'm making this video. This is basically a video response to someone who wants to learn how to pursue advanced mathematics. All right, the person's name is Vikra Maditya, and I'll leave their last name out of it. And the subject is pursuing advanced mathematics. The message reads as follows. Dear math sorcerer, hello. I am Vikram Maditya. I'm 15 years old and I really enjoy your videos because I very clearly see your passion for mathematics. This is also the reason I am contacting you. I recently finished a linear algebra course and I found it very challenging but stimulating. I cannot stop thinking about it or further pursuits. I want to ask you, what's next? I find myself overwhelmed by all the possible routes from combinatorics to real analysis to set theory to number theory. I don't know what to do. To clarify, my drive for mathematics is to solve the most interesting problems. What is your recommendation? So first, let me just start saying, start by saying that I think it's great that you cannot stop thinking about pursuing math. And it sounds like you're suffering from what's called decision paralysis, which affects everybody every day, you know, especially if you're trying to do any sort of self-study. If you're trying to self-study math and you have the ability to study topology or advanced calculus for abstract algebra, how do you know what is the best use of your time? My advice to you is going to be to try all of them, and I'm going to show you several choices that you can try and figure out which ones you enjoy the best, right? Follow your passions in some sense. I mean, that is the whole point of self-study. Obviously, when you're in a classroom and you're forced to study certain subjects, you have to perform. You know, if you're in an abstract algebra course, you have to study abstract algebra. If you're in a calculus course, you have to study calculus because that's what you do, because that's what you have to do if you want to succeed. But when you're doing self-study like you are, Vikram, I'll just call you Vikram for short. It's up to you to decide what's most interesting. And you said you wanted to solve the most interesting problems. Again, those are going to depend on what you think is interesting. And I think that people enjoy what they're good at. So when you find something that you're really good at in math, it's very likely you'll find that interesting and you'll end up pursuing that, which is a good thing, right? Because if you're good at something, well, that's probably the most logical choice for what you should pursue because you're better at that thing. All right, so for those of you watching this video trying to think, okay, how can I pursue advanced math? Let's just get started right away. So the first thing you want to do, Vikram, or anyone else who wants to pursue advanced mathematics is learn to write proofs. Now, Vikram mentioned that he finished a linear algebra course, which typically, regardless of the level of difficulty, you're usually gonna have some proofs in linear algebra. But still, I think becoming good at proof writing is extremely important. Being able to write complete sentences, being able to use you know, correct punctuation, being able to format it in a very nice way, in a very clean, logical way, I think is key. So here are two books that you can use. Both of these are great. The first one is called Foundations of Higher Mathematics. This one is by Fletcher and Patty. This is a book that was recommended to me by some subscribers, some long-term uh, long subscribers that I've had for many years, um, kept recommending this book a while ago, and I sucked it up, I bought it, I got it used. I think I paid, this one is a little more scarce, I think I paid less than $25 or less than $30 for this one. And it's a thin book, it's not a big book, but it's very, very good for learning to write proofs and it will help you. And later on in this video, perhaps we'll take a look uh, inside this book so you can see some of the contents and you can see what it contains. Another really good choice, this one was recommended to me by uh, a friend I used to have. It's called 
A Transition to Advanced Mathematics, and this is the one by Chartran, Palamini, and Zhang. Again, this book will help you write proofs. Both of these can help you write proofs, and so worth it. Now, once you learn to write proofs, Vikram, you can pretty much go anywhere. There's multiple angles you can take. So let's go ahead now and take a look at some various math subjects that you can explore once you know how to write proofs. I mentioned I would show you uh, the contents of this book. So let me just show you a brief look of the context of this text here by Fletcher and Patty. It's called Foundations of Higher Mathematics. And I'm pretty sure there's a newer edition out now. I don't think the edition matters too much. This is an old beat up copy I have. The copyright on this one is 1988. And then here are the, here are the contents so you can see what it contains. The logic and language of proofs, sets, induction, combinatorial proofs. I'll try to go briefly here. And then we have, here we have relations and orders, functions, countable and uncountable sets, introduction to groups, numbers, and then you have references and selected answers and hints, which is fantastic. So you can see it covers a wide variety of topics and it's gonna help you get better at proof writing. Now, if you're trying to decide which book is better, I, I, I don't really want to make that decision. I'm gonna say get both. They're both excellent books. This one has different topics, so let me show you. This one has topics that are a little bit different, but, but also similar. Starts with sets, so again, something we already saw. Then we have logic. Direct proof and proof by contrapositive. See how, the, how it breaks it up here, which is kind of nice. Proof by contradiction, proof or, proof or disprove, equivalence relations functions, mathematical induction, cardinalities, proofs in number theory, proofs in calculus, proofs in group theory. So this is kind of fun here. This is something that this book has that the other one doesn't. It kind of separates these proofs by subject into these chapters here at the end. Also, you can see that this book breaks up the chapters a little bit differently uh, by proof technique, which is kind of nice. So both of these books are excellent for proof writing. So once you know proof writing, you can start pursuing even more advanced mathematics. So let me just briefly show you a couple different options uh, for subjects that you can learn on your own. Discrete mathematics is a great choice. And this book here in particular, you can use to learn discrete math, combinatorics, or graph theory, right? It contains enough information to have a full course on any of those subjects. It's the one by Grimaldi. It is not the easiest book in the world uh, to read but it is a solid textbook and it is correct, right? It's got a lot of exercises, a lot of topics. Let's take a really, really brief look. You see my copy here is falling apart. Perhaps I should get a new copy at some point, but uh, I've had this book for a very long time, probably over, maybe over 20 years now. So here you see the topics. It starts with counting, logic, and set theory. So things, again, we already saw in those books on proof writing. And there we have induction, relations, and functions. Languages, finite state machines. So this is a little bit different here. Relations the second time around, a little bit more advanced. Inclusion, exclusion, generating functions, recurrence relations. So again, topics that you're not gonna see in those other books I showed you. Then here, part three is graph theory. So you have all the graph theory here. Going quick here, because I wanna show you some more subjects in this video. And then here we have some ring theory, groups coding, and finite fields. And this one, again, this is a standard book that is used all over. You can see my copy is falling apart. You could also learn advanced calculus. You could learn topology, although I think topology might be a bit of a leap from now. And many other advanced math subjects. But the key is once you know proof writing, the world is yours. You can pretty much conquer any math subject that is thrown out you with enough time and effort. However, to answer your specific question, to be specific to you, Vikram, because you said you just finished a linear algebra course, my number one recommendation for you is to jump into what's called abstract algebra. And I think the best possible book that you can use is going to be this one here, Abstract Algebra, a first course by Dan Saracino. This is a great book. I have actually read this entire book from start to finish and I have done probably 80% of the exercises in this book. Um, I have a lot of math books, I have thousands, I collect math books, and obviously I haven't read them all, and there's very few that I've read entirely, and, and this is one of those books that I've actually read uh, entirely. 
it's a great book and I do think it's the best book for beginners for you Vikram because it's the easiest. And while it's not perfect, it's pretty close. The biggest con of this book is that, well, it doesn't contain enough information. Again, I read the entire book and I still had to learn more in abstract algebra. And two, the price that might not be the most inexpensive book in the world, but honestly, books like this, in my view, are priceless. Um, knowledge is very valuable and the knowledge that these books contain is incredible. So Vikram, that's my advice. I actually have a course on abstract algebra. <laughs> so it's on Udemy. And if you wanna check out my courses, use my links either through the description of this video or through my website, mathsorcerer.com. And I have a course on abstract algebra that would go very well with this book. So if you buy the course and use this book, um, that, can, that can be beneficial to you. So yeah, those are some thoughts. And if anyone else has advice uh, for Vikram or learning advanced math, leave a comment in the comment section below. It's subscribe as always. And there's more subjects out there that's not just you know, the ones I've shown you, those complex variables, there's a lot more. But I think the key takeaway that you should take away from this video should be that in order to learn advanced math, you really just have to conquer proof writing. And once you, once you do that, you've got this. I'll leave some links in the, descriptions to, in the description to these books. And I also have books on eBay. Check those out at my eBay store. Link in the description. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And keep doing mathematics.